Welcome back to Correct Opinions. This is episode 34. That's right, people. How we doing? <laughs> it is May 5th. May 5th, 2020. And uh, we got quite the episode for you. Um, I'm going to talk about a few things. But most importantly, that's what we're here for. We're doing some... Uh, we're making love on the podcast. <laughs> matchmaking on the podcast. If you recall, uh, a week ago, I said on the pod, send me in your resume. Your... Uh, your dating profile i went on my ig story asked for that as well got over 2500 emails of you guys looking for love and we're gonna get it done okay this is correct opinions real music correct opinions correct opinions I, i'm very excited to do this uh this matchmaking i hope it goes well we're, we're gonna get to it here shortly um but my hips are very sore. My hips are very sore because I, Katie put me through a hip workout. Men, we don't work on our hips. She says, you need to work on your hips. It's, that's why you're like a leg. That's why your knee hurts because your hips. And like, my, so we do this hip workout. Now I can barely walk, but I feel good, right? That's, I'm going to start flexing on people like that. Dudes are like, what do you bench? I'm like, what do those hips do, bro? That sounds weird. That sounds weird, but I'm going to flip the script. I'm, it's not. It's actually a masculine thing for, for me to say, actually. <laughs> Bro, these hips? I'm working on these IT bands? <sighs> you know what IT stands for? Incredibly tough, dude. These hips make me a man. I could, I could, I could spread apart a, a concrete wall with my thighs, brother. Okay? Well, them hips do. So I'm, I'm just embrace this. What's happening to me. I, I used to go to yoga with Katie and then I had to stop. It's so I'm, I'm all for, I don't want to, I'm all for, we're all equal. Who cares? It's not a girl thing. It's a guy thing. Who cares? Mostly. So yoga, you, you think there's a lot, a lot of women there, but Hey, yoga's good. It, can, it helps with the muscles and stuff. I think, um, anyways, I, I decided to go and it was like kind of a nice, but I was like, Katie, you have to go with me. Cause I want to go by myself. It's embarrassing. She's like, nothing to be embarrassed about. I'm like, I know, but I, it's like, and a bunch of white women. That's like half of you listening right now. I'm just, I didn't like the odds. I remember I went to one of my first, the first class I went to without Katie. I went all girls and me. I was like, I don't like this, but it's fine. I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to crush it. It's fine. And as I walked out, the instructor who led the class goes big fan. I was like, uh, I'm never going back, but I did. I went back um, with Katie a few times. I went back one more time without her. And it was like a packed, packed class. 50 people, 49 girls, Trey. No exaggeration. Uh, I did not like that. Um, and it just makes it worse because 43 of them are crushing it way more than I am. And uh, the final straw was when my, uh, a realtor who helped me buy a house, th this house, several years ago. You know, a 50-year-old woman she just turned her head and was next to me. Hey, what's up, man? I'm like, I ah, just... We, I don't, it's like, I don't, I'm not judging you or me, but it feels like me and you should be doing different workouts, but we're doing the exact same one. And that is only, that's great for you and really bad for me. So that's what's happened to me and Cortine. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> we're, we're trying to find some love on the podcast today. Like I said, we have over 2,500 submissions. I called for, it called for, uh, your dating resumes. I thought it'd kind of be a little fun idea. You know, I have, a, I have a, one of my good friends. He's like single and obviously like dating and quarantine and stuff is just kind of non-existent. So I was like, how about, you know what? I'll help you guys out. And I thought it'd be kind of like, uh, oh, that's kind of funny. But people, y'all were sending me emails like, Trey, hook it up. Come on. I'm not messing around. And so now I'm not messing around. We're going to actually do this. Um, I've got a little plan set. Here's how it's going to work. Here's how it's going to work. First and foremost, first and foremost, Enjoy the theme song. Love making, I mean matchmaking on Correct Opinions Podcast. Yeah, I, I, kept match, I kept messing up that wording. As you can see, I, as you can hear, I can't even talk. So matchmaking, okay, that's all this is on Correct Opinions Podcast. I have five pairings right now, five women, five men. I selected them somewhat randomly i went through and and you know i tried to pair them up around the same age at the very least um and 
that's where we're at. They're pretty random. Uh, I, I reach, I've reached out to these people. They've all said, yes, I'm down. So we're going to call them into the show. We're going to learn, learn a little about each of them. And they're going to learn about each other. They're going to chat a little bit. Sparks are going to fly. Hips are going to sway. Hey, my hips are strong. What'd I say? And uh, yeah, that's kind of how it's going to be. I'm very excited for this. And then in the coming weeks, we hope we hope to see some you know, some true love being blossomed, right? It is spring. And so we'll try to uh, check up on them in the coming weeks and get some updates, good or bad. Hey, Sarah, tell us what happened. Well, Josh, uh, turned out he was 5'3", so I left him. Okay. Oh, well, turns out Samantha doesn't have a job. Uh, she And not just because of the virus, she's never had one. So, oh, well, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen, but hopefully the good updates. Uh, we're in love. And guess what? I'm going to officiate the weddings that come out of this. I just decided that. So that's kind of in the fine print of the agreement. I don't know if they knew that, but this is going to be fun. So, uh, yeah, I'm sore, but I'm ready to rock. I am, uh, I'm hoping to make uh, some, uh, make some matches. I almost said make some love again. I don't know why I want to keep saying that, but this is love making. I mean, matchmaking on correct opinions podcast. Okay, folks, we have our first pair of the first ever matchmaking on correct opinions. I'm nervous. <laughs> I, I'm nervous. I really, look, I got, I got a triple check. We're all working here. We got, we're, we're recording. Okay. So we're gonna, this is how, we're, this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna call ladies first. We're gonna make sure she's here. We're gonna say hello. Then we're gonna put her on hold, grab the fella. Do you, I'm short of breath. Not because of the virus, because out of shape and nervous. It's a, it's a tornado of of heavy breathing, but okay. And then we're going to merge them together and we're going to ma- la- make some love, match some make, uh, match make, and they'll fall in love. I got to find a way to articulate that a little better. Boom. Here we go. Here we go. Her number is, I'm just kidding. Here we go. Oh, oh it, dude, if the first ever doesn't pick up. Hello? Hello, Addison? Yes? This is Trey Kennedy. How are you? I am great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. You're on the air. Correct opinions. Um, they, uh, thanks for answering. Thanks for being a part of this. Um, hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Of course. So, scale one to ten, how... Uh, single Ooh, um is negative an option negative one oh, ne- okay what like being the most single yes exactly. i got it okay so i mean cl- <laughs> that seems pretty clear you are uh, on a podcast trying to find love which i respect so <laughs> okay, whatever it takes right that's what I, hey we're, I, th- I feel good about this i hope you do too <laughs> i think this could work so addison correct Addison, you got it. I have a potential, honestly, potential husband for you. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to oh, put you, okay. yeah, I'm going to put you on a brief hold. I'm going to grab him and then we're going to okay. come together. We're going to do this thing. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Thanks so much. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. Let's call. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call William. Oh man. Oh, I got to make sure I... 737. Okay, don't listen to the... And we're calling. Here we go. Come on, William. That guy's... This is Will. Will. William. Yes, William. William's good. But but mainly Will. Either or. Big Willie or something like that. It's Trey. Yeah, perfect. We're hey, Trey, here on the doing? podcast. How you doing, my man? I'm doing well. Good deal. Good deal. So, um, first things first, how tall are you? I am 6'4". So, 
I mean, for a blind podcast matchup, that's a good start, dude. Well, uh, well, perfect. Uh, yeah. My ethnicity is a, I'm a Hispanic and Irish, so I have no idea how I got six four, but uh, it is what it is. At hey, this, point. this is all. I don't know. You kind of seem like maybe the perfect man for this girl here. I have her on hold. Okay, we're gonna pair you guys up. We're gonna just have some fun, all right? And we're gonna we're gonna do this thing. So you're single, I take it. I am. Ex- aggressively or? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, hold tight, Will. I'm going to grab this lovely lady, and we're going to do this thing. All right. Thanks, my man. Oh, our girl, I think our girl hung up on us. Hold up now. Here we are. We're calling her back. Addison, don't do this. She's like, okay, this is weird. I'm out. Could you imagine? Hello. Hello. Oh, okay, did we lose you? Uh, yeah, it said call failed. So. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. That's hilarious. I thought you were like, oh, oh wow. I... Never mind. <laughs> okay, we got the guy line. We're going to merge it. All right, here we go. Okay, sounds good. All right, is everybody there? Will, Addison. Yes. Will's here. What is up? Hello. Okay, we're doing this. This is my very janky way of podcast. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thank you guys for doing this. Um, yeah, I at, remember the last time someone star 67 me, honestly. Okay. Oh, hey, I didn't even, I wasn't going to tell people I was doing that. I actually, it's hilarious. I was like, does that still work? And I tried it calling yeah. my roommate <laughs> and I was like, wow. So for those who don't know, star 67, you can still, I guess, right. unknowingly call people. So has a no caller ID on mm-hmm. mine. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Not that I don't trust y'all. After this, I'm sure we'll be friends. We can all no, share no, no, numbers. No, sure. Um, okay, great. So Addison, I've already checked. Will is six, four. Okay. Okay. She maybe you're hoping for six five. I mean, no, I, how how many six five either. get? No, no, okay, no. Okay. I'm a whole foot shorter. So. Okay, great. That's good. That's yeah. good. You're not like six three yourself, <laughs> six five or something. Those, those exist. Okay. Off, six foot, six one. Honestly, I don't have a preference. That's well, not- okay. So she's a liar. That's not a great start, Will. So. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Seriously. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Th- so we'll just get going here. Um, Addison, ladies first. Just tell us a little about yourself. Tell the people a little about yourself, uh, age, where you're from, what do you do, so forth. Okay. Um, I am Addison, obviously. Um, I am 26. I'll turn 27 in June. So getting on up there. Um, Birthday coming I up. I live okay. in Nashville. Do what? Birthday coming up. Good to know. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I live in Nashville. I was born and raised. Um, I love it. Um, and so does everybody else that seems to visit and stay. Um, I am a dental professional. I'm a, a dental assistant at a private practice um, downtown Nashville. So um, not only do I work, but I also play down there. Um, and for fun, I would say um, I love concerts big music person and sports all the way love sports so it's about it really wow all your favorite things are canceled but um yeah, so I, hope you're hanging in there. I know let's not talk about it great great okay will give us a run rundown yeah sure so uh, my name's william uh i'm originally from charlotte north carolina that's where i was born and raised uh, but i actually live in chattanooga tennessee so just uh, right down the street from nashville give or take um I am 28. I my birthday's also in June, and I'm oh, turning nice. 29 in June. So I'm uh I'm getting up there as well. <laughs> um, I uh, I went to in, uh, hold on real quick. Will say say that it, we we cut out here. Come on, cell service. So oh. you said you uh you're 29. Then what'd you say? Oh uh, yeah, I'm 29. Or I'm 28. Jerry turned 29 got, in I June. Gotcha. And then uh, I went to school in Virginia. I went to Liberty University and studied uh, finance and economics, and I'm in sales right now. So previously, in uh, my previous work life, I worked for an oil company for four years, and I now work for an industrial supply company in sales. So uh, super interesting stuff for sure. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Wow. This is working out greatly already. Um, okay. So I'm going to – I'm just going to reel off a few questions. We're going to let you all talk a little bit. Let's, let's just have some fun. So for uh, Will, is there balding in your family? <laughs> okay uh, n- no oh well, no so i have a full head of hair and okay. it's not going anywhere uh yeah no i'm good good okay um addison addison do you have any pets 
Do I have any pets? No, not personally. I do have a roommate wow. that has two unclawed kittens. So, got it. What unclawed? What does that mean? Um. So, uh, it's this big thing. They're. It's just better for them to not be declawed. So I don't know. I'm not a cat person. I just keep to myself. Wait. So they do, or do, I'm. Uh, I'm to not be not declawed. I that are they? Like, do they have claws or not? Yes, they do. They and do, it's which is bad a... if they take them off. Like if okay. a vet were to, if you were to go in and have them taken off, it's bad. It's, someone said it was like if you went in and have both of your arms taken off, it compared it to that. Oh so wow, yeah, that, that wouldn't be good. Do you? So do you or do you not like claws? I, I do not like claws. <laughs> I love claws. White claw? White claw. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, would either of y'all consider yourselves old souls? Uh, yes. I would as well. Yeah. Okay. So bit, you're both yeah. kind of lame. <laughs> this is what that means. Okay. I'm kidding. I would, oh. It depends on how many white claws I've been involved. <laughs> okay. Got it. Got I it. I would describe it as traditional, not necessarily old soul. Oh, traditional. You're, you're a classy woman. Yes. Maybe that's what that, that means. Okay. <laughs> Unrelated, but agreed. Uh, okay, great. And let, let's see what else we have here. Um, any any crazy exes on either side that we need to worry about? Negative. No. Good, good. Yeah, that's always great. Out. Yeah. out of those. Thank uh, goodness. Yeah. Um, I'm good. This could be fun. What What was y'all's... If, if you have your phones, I guess you clearly have... I always said if you have your phones on me, on you, so that was stupid. Do you check your... What was your phone screen time in the past week? Oh, that's a good question. Mine, um, it's just... I feel like each Sunday what it updates you, and it's just like yours yep, is seven yep, hours. I got and mine yesterday. Mine said up 11 hours per day. 11 hours uh, per day? Yep. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm it makes me feel way better myself. So do not hold that against me. I'm quarantined and absolutely bored. Right, so. right, right. Got it. Yeah, no judgment. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, so so mine says three hours, but I have a work phone and a personal phone, so it's probably double that, so probably six hours. You have so. two or three phones? Two. Two, two phones. Phone and personal phone. Okay. Yeah. So. Either way, he's way better than me as far as being on the screen. Or worse, but he has two phones, yeah. so that's something, you know... <laughs> As a woman and a guy has two phones, that's something we can, you know, something mm, to be wary of. Yeah. You know, I you don't know. know. Once for work and, you know, once for, you know, I've had it since I've been, what, 14 years old or something like that. So I just can't get rid of it. Got it. Okay. Hey, but just, it's just good to know. Okay. And we asked you guys to maybe have a question for the other. So it's time for that. Um, Addison, oh, well, you went first last time. Will, you go ahead. Uh, shoot us, right. Addison a question. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'll let Addison get, so you want a serious question or a uh, light question? Um, I prefer both, but, um, I'm, I'll go with the latter. Okay. Um, so the funny question. All right. Uh, so are Starburst taffy? Ooh. I would say yes. Why? Because they are very sticky and because I work in dental, Mm. You're not supposed to eat them. Oh, <laughs> here we, we go. We prefer you to eat chocolates <laughs> rather than that because <laughs> it doesn't stay on your teeth and cause cavities. Okay. <laughs> and so would taffy. Same thing. Fair enough. There you go. There we go. Sparks are flying. Addison, your turn. <laughs> okay. Um, if Saturdays are really for the boys, what is your ideal Saturday? Oh. Oh man, uh, pool or lake? I mean, I'm about it. Yeah, pool or lake. Uh, and I don't mind if there are girls there. I mean, uh, obviously, you know, I'm all about the guys, but come on, I uh, have no uh, bad feelings about having girls there. So that's right. Awesome. Two phones will. That's what we're talking about. Two come phones on. Will. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Addison will. Thank you. We have some other people to get to, but um, listen, we would love. If is it okay if I connect y'all after this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. I mean, what are you going to say? No, I mean that uh, actually, no. Um, so it's like that MTV show. What was it next? So you just hop off the bus and yeah. you're like, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, a, um, well, this is fun. Thank you guys for participating. Um, we'll, we'll be in touch and we'd love to, uh, stay updated on the way if this should, uh, unfold at all. We hope so. But, uh, thank you guys for coming on to correct opinions. 
Appreciate the love. Sure. Thank you for having um, me. I yeah, it. of course. Yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Appreciate y'all. Bye-bye. Okay, sounds good. All right, bye. All right, bye. That first things first, that could have gone pretty, that could have gone better, I don't think. Um, two phones, Will, had a lot of nice, strong things to say. He, he seemed like an impressive guy. Uh, Addison, you know, he's, he's slinging White Claws and eating taffy and she's a dental person. I feel like there's a lot of good synergy there. They could, it could be a good team, right? Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. So how this is going to work, I hope that some of these people we try to pair up talk after this that's a real thing um honestly it sounds like they live down the street from each other which i was completely <laughs> for uh, lucky so um we're gonna update this over the coming weeks so that was couple one we're, let's get to the next one hello hello emily yes this, this is, is her tra- this is her. that was very professional thank you this is trey kennedy how yes. are you Good. I have my banking voice on right now. I love that. A hard day at yes. work? Uh, yeah. Nice. Not I like banking, that. teaching, but still. Oh, my God. We have multiple careers. I like that. We're all going to get to know you. Thanks for coming on Correct Opinions. Yes. Thanks for having me. Of course. Um, as you know, we had, a t- we had thousands of submissions, so um, it, it must be fate that you're here, and we have a guy ready to be called in. Um, all right. So you're, you're single. You've been single for a while. What's the story? Yeah, since 1965. Wow. So, okay. I'm, it feels like that. It feels but, like that. Oh, I yeah. feel you. Okay. So I'm glad it feels like that because I'm here to help. All right. So I'm just going to call in the guy. So if you don't mind, if I can put you on a brief hold and we'll, we'll get y'all all in here and we're, we're going to make some things happen. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you, Emily. One, one, one sec. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Now we're calling Andy. Andy. Uh, uh, ring, ring, ring. Hello? Andy? Yeah. This is Trey Kennedy. How you doing, man? Hey, good. How are you? I'm fantastic. Good, man. Good, good. Uh, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. Hey, of course you're, you know, we had a bunch of submissions, so you're stood out. I don't know. I have, I have a, a lady on hold here on the line. We're just, uh, we're going to loop you in. We're going to have a little fun and yeah. So, so you've been single uh, a while, newly single. What's the story? Yeah, I've been single for a while. Um, I live in Denver. I've Got been it. in Denver for about uh, three years before that I was in um, Southern California. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Okay, great. Well, uh, you hold tight, Andy. I'm going to loop us in. Okay, cool. Here we go. Hello, Emily. Yes. Okay, well, you got uh, you got Andy and Trey here. What's up? Hey, there he is. How's what? It going? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, we're here. Thank you guys again. Um, ladies first, Emily. If you just give us uh, a rundown, a little bit about you, age, where you're from, what do you do? Okay, so I'm 32. I am from Akron, Ohio. Mm-hmm. Um, home of LeBron James. Oh yeah, the um, king. <laughs> uh-huh. And uh, I am a high school business teacher, but before that, I spent eleven years as a banker. Uh, I started when I was seventeen, so I was basically the the bank raised me. And um, okay. I um, so you, you're also, a high school business teacher. So you teach teenagers about business. Yes, Do they all want to be YouTubers? <laughs> I bet what they do. That? Do they all want to be YouTubers? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I've, I've yeah. kind of. I'm not a great example. I'm sorry. I'm. Don't <laughs> let them do that because then you just You're do. You're the problem. Yeah, right? I am the yeah. problem. All right, continue. Sorry. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm also uh, pretty involved in the community. I'm on a couple different boards. I'm a landlord, and um, I'm also involved in a lot of volunteering things, which is what I blame my singleness on. That and the fact that I'm uh, maybe a little bit picky. I see. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Andy. Um, why don't you give us the same? Yeah. Quick background. Totally. Uh, originally I'm from uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. So hopefully you're not an Ohio state fan. Cause uh, I'm a Husker guy. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I grew up in Nebraska, spent some time in um, Colorado, uh, moved to California after college, um, lived in Orange County for about seven years. 
Uh, currently, I have a career in um, healthcare. I sell healthcare benefits to large companies. Um, I love sports. I love to travel. I love trying new, uh, you know, food in different restaurants and uh, going out for drinks. So, uh, yeah, I've been single quite a while. Um, I think part of my problem is I, I, I am picky as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just here to have some, have a good time and see what happens. So, yeah. Love that. Okay. Thank you guys. All right. Well, I'm going to ask you a couple more questions and I'm going to let y'all have it a little bit. Um, Andy, I got, I'll start back to you. Um, from one of these options, low, moderate, or high, how would you describe your credit score? Hi. You hear that, Emily? Yes. Okay. I mean, that's a good start. Emily, yes. <laughs> how, how important are looks to you? And if they're not, quit lying. Yeah. Okay. So I keep, I keep going back and forth on this because although I want somebody who is single, sexy and saved, okay. I, oh, all right. I, I really feel like things like humor can make people really attractive, mm-hmm. but easy on the eyes definitely helps. You got it. Well, we we have a, we had a very thorough vetting system over here at correct opinions, which by that, I mean, I just kind of scanned through the emails and he, he's a good looking guy. Okay. I know that's not when you're, when you're on a blind date on a podcast, it's weird to have another man here vouching for his hotness, but that's just what's happening here. Okay. You got it, man. You got, it. I'm here to help. Um, uh, okay. You, we asked if you guys could have a question for each other. Do you guys have those? Mm-hmm. Or it could just be anything. Um, so Emily, why don't you go back to you? Um, what you ask away? Get to know Andy. Okay, so Andy, on a scale of one to like maybe I'd rather swallow a coat hanger, how comfortable are you slash what are your thoughts towards sharing your feelings and being vulnerable? Oh, that's a good question. So it's a scale here? Well, just, yes. Um, pretty low on the scale. They're already like arguing. Two. <laughs> because um, it's really hard for me to talk about my feelings. I don't know if it's how I grew up or the friends I hung out with or previous relationships, but it is hard for me to, to put down my walls and, and talk about feelings and be a little vulnerable. <laughs> okay. I appreciate your honesty. Is it something you would say that you're able to build on? in relation? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a comfort level. Um, the more that I've been involved in a relationship, the easier it is to open up and talk about that kind of stuff. So yeah, I think it's like a comfort level and the experience that you have with that person. Okay. This is great. This is great. Wow. He's being yeah. vulnerable about how he's not vulnerable at all. So <laughs> exactly. that's something to think yeah. about there. Also, <laughs> I, I love those questions. Those are great questions, Emily, but uh, yeah. I mean, what else is he going to say? I'm, yeah, I'm basically undateable. I am devoid of emotion. <laughs> but that's hell- that's great. Okay, Andy, what's your question for her? Okay, my question is, Emily, if you were stranded on a deserted island and you could bring three things, what would it be? Oh, sweet Jesus. I'm going to need a second to think about this. Okay. Um, yeah, take a second. I would Not like too many, to though. My- oh, right. <laughs> I'd like to bring um, my dog. Melvin. Okay, Bes- besides me. Oh, yeah, no, you, oh, yeah, oh, there okay, it is. Thank you for, thanks for <laughs> clarifying. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so I'm not bringing Andy. So I'm going to okay. bring my, my dog. I'm probably going to bring my Bible. I feel like that's so like Christianese to say, but it's true. Um, and then the third thing, well, I listen to a lot of podcasts, so I'd have to bring like my iPhone so I could stay connected to my podcasts. Okay. Well, how are you going to like keep it plugged in? Burn. That's such a good question. Um, <laughs> She'll listen to like eight podcasts and then. Yeah. It's and then you're done. Very yeah. yeah. I might have to skip the correct opinions one. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. Now <laughs> we're roasting me. This is not what is the point of this. Uh, okay. That's, this is amazing. Anyth- anything else you guys have for each other? The floor is yours. <laughs> um, Awkward silence. Uh. Emily, do you do you enjoy traveling? Yes, I love traveling. I have traveled quite a bit. Um, 
before when I was in banking, I used to travel for work and I've gotten to go on, um, I've been to, I just went to Africa last summer and then Jamaica nice. and yeah, I, I want to go to more places. That's all right. Sure. So if like outside of when, when we're all able to leave quarantine and everything, like what's like an ideal vacation for you? Um, I like warm weather. <laughs> yeah. Um, and beautiful scenery. The best trips I've been on have been ones that have been a combination of leisure and like ministry work. And if I do go to somewhere that's like, so for example, I went to Jamaica, we definitely went to the resorts, but I personally got the most joy out of being like with the locals and in the local areas and just absorbing like the actual culture of the places. Okay. Ooh, nice. very, like ooh, very cultural. I love that. So you, it was like a mission trip thing. So you got like a vacation for free. Basically. Those are the best. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Cool. Nice. cool. Uh, yeah, okay. That's the only reason I do mission trips. Uh, perfect. Now, uh, thank you. That's a great way to wrap this up. Andy and Emily, thank you. We, we have some other couples <laughs> we're trying to get to, but is it okay if I connect you guys after this? Yeah, sure. Yes. Okay. Let's do it. Um, seriously, thanks for uh, being willing to do this. It's fun. And we, we hope it actually goes somewhere. Who knows? But uh, thank you guys again. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right. Thank see you. y'all. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Man, that's great. Andy and Emily, um, free vacations, those mission groups, those were classic. You know, when you, uh, when I think we've talked about this before on the podcast, the kid down the street, whose dad was a neurosurgeon. They're like, could you get spare us some money for a trip? Go to, go ask your daddy boy. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, but anyways, uh, they were a lot of fun and we're going to just move on to the next person. Let's go. Ember Wave. Thank you for sponsoring Correct Opinions. What is Ember Wave? It is the first bracelet that helps you feel colder or warmer at the press of a button. That's right. I put this thing on. You put the, uh, it, it's on like the underside of your wrist and you press hot and there's an app that connects Bluetooth to your phone. You press hot and it gets nice and steamy and it just, it warms you up. Or you press cold, it feels like a ice cold glass is being pressed to your arm. It's pretty amazing. Ember Wave. I love it. Temperature is personal. Everyone's idea of comfortable is unique. We can all think of those situations where, uh, you know, I'm laying in bed at night. I'm sweating. Tap the Ember Wave to cold, baby. Brr. Come on. You're out. Uh, oh, your girl's cold. Your girl's cold again. Heat her up with an Ember Wave. You know what I'm saying? Get her one. Uh, it was invented by three MIT scientists. It won the pitch for AARP's Innovation and Aging Award live on Good Morning America. It provides comfort in unpredictable climates, relief from stress as well, and support for sleep. At the end of a long day, Ember Wave has a fall asleep mode that can help you maintain a comfortable temperature as you drift off to sleep as well. Like I said, featured on Good Morning America, named one of Time Magazine's Best Inventions of 2018. Also been reviewed by a number of leading technical publications like Wired, Fast Company, and CNBC. So, I got an offer for you guys. I always do. Come on. So this thing's really cool. Um, you can get fifty dot fifty fifty da fifty dollars off your order by heading to emberwave.com slash tray. That is E M B R W A V E dot com slash tray to get fifty dollars off your first order. Hello. Hallie? Hi, yes. Hello, this is Trey Kennedy. How are you? I'm so good. How are you? I'm great. How was your Monday? Um, actually really good. Really productive. Well, look at that. You're just in the work day with maybe meeting the love of your life. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Well, <laughs> you don't sound too confident. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. I should have never sent the email. Uh, well, hello, Hallie. Thank you so much. Uh, I've somewhat randomly picked out a guy. Not a, you know, he's of age at least, but um, he, That's we've, great. I'm, I'm going to, this is how it's going to work. I'm going to. Who's ladies first? So I give you a call. I'm gonna if you can give me a brief hold, I'm gonna hit him up, and then we're just gonna have a few questions and have a good time. Does that sound good? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Okay, Hallie, uh, give me one second. Thank you. Okay. Okay, and for our guy, um, we have Ryan, who's actually my roommate. So uh, Ryan, just come on in if you're free. Just come on in. So. I say randomly. This is the one that was not that random. Uh, Ryan, uh, we've lived together for a few years, and he's just a good single eligible bachelor, and he's come on the podcast. Hey. Yeah. Talk. 
All right, can you hear me? Yeah, can yeah. you hear yourself? That works, yeah. right? Yeah. You ever been on a podcast? It's my first time. <laughs> <laughs> We've let, so uh, we got Hallie on hold here. Maybe your new might be my wife. Might be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Ryan and I've lived together for a few years, and. Uh, I'm trusting the process. You bet. We've okay. we've lived together for a few years, and uh, that's coming to an end soon. Yeah, I'm, like I'm, this uh, week. Sadly, sadly, but uh, we've been mistaken for a couple ourselves over the years. <laughs> so this feels like a nice, like, full circle thing. Yeah, Anyways, okay. Like I tried to buy you a drink. So Ryan's here, Hallie's here. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring her back in, and we're doing this. Hallie, you there? Yeah, I'm here. We got Ryan. Ryan, you there? Oh, I'm here. Ryan and Hallie. What's up, y'all? Hi. Hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, awkward. No, this is great. Um, okay. This is what we're going to do. Ladies first. Just Hallie, give us a little breakdown about you so the people, Ryan, can know how old are you, where you're from, what do you do, so forth. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm 25. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I'm a high school history teacher. Okay. Um, <laughs> Student. Oh, how old? Are you? No. No. <laughs> High school teacher, that's awesome. Keep going. Sorry. Yeah. Um, other than that, I love people. I love my friends. I love to hang out with them all the time. I love to travel. Um, that's I love great. Books. Oh, okay. You love books? Okay, great. This is all good. Some people don't yeah. like books. Um, <laughs> I mean, okay. Thank you, Hallie. Ryan, uh, do us the same. I'm Ryan, so I'm from Houston, live in Kansas City, used to be a high school teacher myself. Oh, he's already flirting. Keep going. Bingo. I taught uh, Algebra 2. Um, I am now a supply chain consultant in Kansas City, so I live with Trey, been living with him the last uh, three years. Oh, yeah, Hallie. I was going to tell her later. <laughs> I was going to spoil her. This, Ryan's actually my uh, roommate, so <laughs> we, we have... Like yeah, we have... Uh, so for this whole, this isn't just like, I, I'm interviewing, I'm setting up like five different couples. And um, when I needed to pick guys, I was like, oh, Ryan, you want to just walk it down from the office since we're quarantined together and hop on? You're single. And he goes, sure. <laughs> so he's a, I can vouch for him. He's a nice guy. All right, Ryan, continue. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> she said, uh, are you for real? I thought that was a good uh, plug to your tour. Are you for real too or <laughs> postponed? <laughs> So we're working on it. All right. Continue. All right. Um, I also like traveling. So I lived in uh, Spain for a year, lived in Morocco for a few months. Um, enjoy reading. I'm reading the Knicks right now. It's very good. Would recommend. Okay. Thank you. This is great. Now we know. Um, I'm going to ask each of you guys maybe a question or two and, and then give it up to y'all. Um, we'll start. We'll throw back to Ryan since Hallie went first. Ryan, um, how much money do you make? I'm kidding. No, no, that's not what we're asking. What, Ryan, what do you bench? <laughs> more than you no, no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, no um not that much like me so that works oh hey hallie what is your go-to coffee order um oh, so dang. i really don't drink coffee okay. um yeah i Any love particular it reason? but it doesn't agree with me <laughs> i understand um, okay that's good I nice have... and honest i like the vulnerability i've also yeah, had some stomach I... aches this morning too much coffee so i get it yeah, um, when it does agree with me, I'm very simple, a vanilla latte, but honestly, I'm a green tea person. Okay, green tea. I like that. Keep it green. Mm -hmm. Coffee doesn't agree with you, but hopefully Ryan does. <laughs> oh. oh ooh, okay. can, I, can I ask her a follow-up question? <laughs> Take it away. You guys, yeah. Alan, hey, what's up? Where's your favorite go-to tea spot in Dallas? In Dallas? Is that? Um, are you still in Dallas? Yeah, I am. Okay, got it. Um, I don't know why I was surprised by that. Um <laughs> The probably there's this really cute place called the Wild Detectives. It's like in South Dallas, um, and it's like a coffee shop, bar, and bookstore all in one. Um, so it's really great. Wow. Okay, that's nice. Um, and I did ask if you guys would have a, a question for the other. So Hallie, uh, why don't you go ahead? Do you have a, Do you have a question for Ryan? Yeah, I do. Um, what is your favorite place on Earth? Like, if you could be anywhere right now, where would you be? Right here with my best friend. Oh, Aww, how come sweet. here, man. Give me, give me a hug. Give me a kiss. I'm just kidding. Where um, no, yeah, so, um, actually, uh, uh, so this past weekend, I got to see my family down in Austin. So, I'd probably, like, down in my family spot in Austin off uh, Lake Travis. 
Oh. Oh, that's awesome. I love Austin. Family man. The sparks are flying, if I may say so wow, myself. Wow, this is going so well. Um, I mean, anything else? <laughs> Um, do I get to ask my question? You, yeah, ask your question. Oh, I mean, yeah, you, yeah, I guess you didn't ask your official question. Go ahead. Um, yes, Hallie. So you mentioned you like to travel. Where has been your favorite spot that you have been to? And follow up, what's the furthest you've been okay, from that's Dallas? Usually one per, but we'll, we'll okay. go to. Here okay. we are. <laughs> um, I'll start with the second one. The furthest has been Europe. I have family in England, so I go visit them. And then Ooh. this past summer, I went to France. Um, and then uh, I actually have a trip booked to Hawaii in July. My fingers are crossed that I still get to go. Never been, and I want to go so bad. Um, and I think hey, my you're definitely not place... going. But... <laughs> okay, go ahead. Sorry, July. sorry, sorry, sorry. Maybe, maybe. I think we'll be good. <laughs> um, and then my favorite place is Southern California, specifically La Jolla. So. So my mom lived there last year. <laughs> in La Jolla. Yeah, she did. It was great. Wait, that's so cool. Small world. We went to. She lived like down the down the street from that uh, national park with the uh, the trees. I forget what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Whoa. I mean, sparks are flying. <laughs> wow. What? So, uh, born and raised in Dallas. Yeah. Born D Town's a great place to visit, even. Quarantine makes it tough, but eventually. Okay. Um, any final, anything else? I mean, you guys are at dinner. I'm just the waiter. And you guys need anything? And I'm out. <laughs> um, I'm good. This has been fun. We do have other people to get to. So I thank you guys for coming on the uh, the podcast um, and for your willingness to, to find love. Or maybe you never thought this would actually happen, but it is. So thank you, Ryan and Hallie. We're going to, is it okay if we connect you guys after this? Because we're not messing around. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, so we're on to the next one. Thank you, Ryan and Hallie. We appreciate y'all. I'll talk to you soon. Matchmaking, Thanks, correct opinions. Bye, all. Bye. Okay, I think I think Hallie was a little freaked out there. It was my roommate, but it's hey. I think she was like, oh great, is this is this even a podcast? Is this some big scam to set up his roommate? No, it was a whole thing. It just kind of happened. So he's, he's a good guy. I promise you'll see Hallie. Uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully. Hopefully it happens. If not, maybe we can interview Ryan and just make fun of him. But anyways, uh, also it's May 6th. I know I said May 5th. That's a sad day when I'm not even celebrating Cinco de Mayo. God, I can't even remember what it is. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. We are on to the next one. That's right. Let's call up our next gal now. I, I can't believe Star 67 still exists. If I can even type... Do you guys do a thing where you, you try to type it so fast and you get it wrong nine times in a row and you're like, I should have just, like, I, why am I so slow at this? Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. And we're in business. <clears throat> Hello, this is Adele. Adele, how are you? This is Trey Kennedy. Hi, Trey. I'm good. How are you? I'm fantastic. Is that how you answer all your calls? Sorry? Is that how you answer all your calls? This is Adele. <laughs> yeah, I, this is very professional, you know. I feel like, uh, I don't know, I, I need to start doing that, I, I feel like. I just go, hey. Um, just, hey. Yeah. So? <laughs> well, when it says no, when it says no caller ID, star generally, six, did that you know, means I should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you know Star 67 is still a thing? Oh my gosh. Wow. It still is. That's how I did that. That's how I did that. Not that I don't trust you, but you know, we'll get there anyways. But we, it's, you know, I understand. I would do the same thing. Gotcha. Gotcha. So thank you for coming on the show and submitting your, your dating profile. So you're single, I take it. Yes. Okay. Single, longly single, very single. Um, like what is my single scale? Sure. Um, very single, single, like a freaking Pringle, like honestly. <laughs> okay. What flavor of Pringle? You got to go sour cream and onion, you know? Okay. A little sour, but there's, I don't know. How, oh, like I don't know richness, if this Right. Know? There's a, okay. Get... There's like a, yeah, there's like an umami coming through. Okay. I'm going to, yes, yes. okay. I'm going to, here's how it's, I'm going to call the potential guy. So I'm going to put you on hold really quick. Do you mind? No problem. 
Okay, you said that sounded like you were annoyed. Okay, no problem. No, no. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Be right back. Thank you so much. This is great. We're calling our brother from another mother now. Oh, I'm getting all the numbers right first try. All right, brother, pick up. Everyone's been picking up too. Come on, come on, come on. Hello, this is Luke Kennedy. Luke Kennedy, what's up, man? It's maybe your brother, Trey. Trey Kennedy? Yeah, long lost cousin, dude. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, you having a good day? Uh, yeah, just got off work. Now I'm just relaxing with uh, my wolf. With your wolf? Yeah. Oh, wow. That was true on the uh, the email that okay. I sent out. Yeah, I guess that was helpful on the day thing. He said you said you have a wolf, <laughs> so you're kind of like a kind of mysterious, like uh, what, what's that movie? The, the kind of a Twilight vibes. Uh. Sure. Don't act like you didn't see them all. All right, so we're going to loop you in now. I got a nice, uh, sounds like a lovely lady on, lady on the line here. You ready? Perfect. Yeah, okay. let's do it. Adele, Luke? Hi. Hello. Hey. hey. Adele, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. We're all here. How are, this is amazing. Um, I guess we'll just start with, uh, yeah, sorry. Hey. Sorry, this is, uh, th- thank you guys for coming on. This is fun. Well, I guess we'll start with, um, tell each other and everyone a little about yourself. Adele, ladies first, like age, where are you from? What do you do? Go ahead. Um, I'm 26. I'm from California and I'm in marketing. Love it. Nice. Is, is, um, is that it? Or is- I mean, it's up to you. I mean, that's an extensive list of questions. Yeah. Okay. No. Go ahead, Luke. Um, yeah, my name is Luke. I'm 25. Um, I've lived in California for a couple of years, but now I'm back home in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, best state in the world. Oklahoma. Dude, we're, we have the same last name and we're both from Oklahoma. I know, right? I feel like we got to be related somehow. Do, do the family reunion, 1999? Yeah. Outside oh, yeah, of. Yeah, of course. Okay, yeah, anyways. I remember. So, pictures. um, uh, well, let's just dive into it. Luke says he owns a wolf. So maybe let's tell us a little about that. Cause I don't really understand. Yeah. Um, so as every six year old normally does, I was obsessed with having a wolf. Um, and of course it never seemed like that would actually be a possibility. I don't know if that's until... a ton of six year olds do that. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. I just want a wolf. Until, uh, three and a half years ago. Um, I basically like done a ton of research on raising them and then just decided to wait for like the right opportunity. Cause it's it's a lot of work. Um, and so three and a half years ago, my one of my buddies called me up and was like, bro, I just bought a wolf. And I was like, give me the number. I'm heading there right now. Um, and so I bought him at four weeks, got to raise him. Um, when I went to move to California, I actually had to give him up. Um, and then this is crazy. When I moved back to Tulsa, it was just this random old lady that was taking care of him. Um, she ended up going to jail. She this ate him. Actually, this is oh. this is true. She ended up going to jail and called me like three weeks after I'd moved back to Bolta and was like in tears and was just like, you're going to have to like take him back now. Like, you know, and thankfully I'd moved back to Tulsa. So I hopped her fence, took red in and literally have no idea what happened to that lady, but I got him back. So, yeah. So, Similar to <laughs> Carol Baskin fed her husband to a tiger and you yes. fed an old lady yep. to a wolf. So that's something to be concerned about. Yeah, we're all kind of related. It's, it's in the Kennedy family. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Um, okay, wow. Yeah, well, so Adele, thoughts on that? Team Team Jacob, Team Luke? Well, um, <laughs> what a story. I don't think I've ever heard of, let alone talked to someone who's owned a wolf. So, well, um, Definitely interesting. Learn something new every day. I suppose. I have a dog, but she's very small and white and fluffy, so I'm pretty sure that's pretty much the opposite of your pet. What kind of dog is she? Opposites attract. She's like a poodle mix. (laughs) Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, nice. Okay, this is great. Um... Okay, I have a question for each of you, and then I'll let y'all kind of ask your questions go a little bit. Um, This is great. Uh, I'll go back to you, Adele. Um, Have you ever applied to the bachelor if so why if not why um i have not um 
Although, you know, you never know. This could be a gateway drug to a sign to the bachelor, yeah. you know, <laughs> being on Trey Kennedy's no, no, no. making podcast. No, <laughs> I just want to make sure I wasn't getting the bachelor rejects. We actually, we have a list of bachelor alums who are dying to be on here. So this was kind of a strange. Oh, no, that's really? amazing. No. Oh, uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> that's not really true, but. Um, no, I would never go on because I think my eyes would be rolling so much at all the drama that they'd get stuck in the back of my head. Mm-hmm. So that mm-hmm. probably would not be super ideal. Okay, great, great. And then Luke, um, on a scale of one to 10, how worried is your mother that you're single? Um, surprisingly not. She used to ask all the time. Okay. And then, and, you know, that's maybe good. that's a bad time. Maybe she's basically just given up on me now. And she's like, well, I'm the the last one in the family that is still single. So mm-hmm. who knows? Or maybe they just, you know, trust me that I'm going to, you know, that I know what I'm doing. Which, yeah, probably not that. They probably just gave up. Oklahoma, I just I asked Oklahoma guy. My, <laughs> when I was like 19, my mom was like, "Well, I guess you're only option to divorce women now." So dude, that took <laughs> no, too long. I was like, "Whoa!" Well, no, no I'm just kidding. Time, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, kind of feel. Yeah. Okay. Great. So now you guys take the floor. You, Luke, you can you can start for us this time. Uh, we asked y'all to prepare a question. So shoot your shot. What, what's yeah. your question? Are we limited to just one question? Because I just, not at all. I have, I, have a, I have a good. Okay, good. I got not like at a all. Serious one. Go ahead. A funny one. Because I didn't just want to follow one side. Um, so Adele, my first. We'll start with the fun. My first question is: If you could live um, in any type of universe, what would you want to live in? And when I say that, I mean like the Star Wars universe, Lord of the Rings universe, Harry Potter, uh, Little House on the Prairie, and whatever kind of book or movie Twilight. or any kind of deal. Yeah, Twilight, of course. Um, <laughs> what universe would you want to live in and why? Oh, man. Um, shoot. I mean, I guess I would say Harry Potter because it would be pretty pretty efficient to fly around on some rooms instead of having to get in a car and go That's everywhere. So, so I'd say that's my knee-jerk reaction. <laughs> she is efficient. Yeah. What do you say? Tell us about yourself. 26, California, marketing. Harry Potter nerd chick. Great. Okay, Adele, uh, back to you. What's your, what do you have a question for Luke? Okay, so my question is, if you were stuck on a deserted island, but you could bring three things, no rule, but those, but okay. those things are, okay. or how much of it, um, what would you bring? Um, I'm definitely bringing Revan, my wolf, because he's going to be doing the hunting. Um, I would probably, I know this is going to sound like the cheesy Christian Oklahoma answer, but I'd totally bring my Bible. Um, That's hilarious. We had a, then, someone asked the same question the last couple, oh, really? and she was like, <laughs> oh, this no, is, no this is, and she also goes, this is embarrassing, but like my Bible, it's like, that's, it's okay. Yeah. Like, it's the, <laughs> it's the most that. read book of all time, if that makes you feel better. Yeah. So embarrassing. Go ahead, go ahead. So embarrassing. Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. I'd go with, I'd go Sorry. with my wolf, my, my Bible, and uh, a fishing rod. Excellent. Interesting. Luke, you said you had some I more questions. I was going to do all the hunting for you. But, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. You, you keep going. If you, I mean, I'm just a fly on the wall. Um, okay. I've got another question. Um, Adele, what do you value most about yourself? About myself? Yes. Um, oh, I would say. The ability to see things from a different perspective and acknowledge that not everything is black and white. That's huge. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. That's great. All right. What, what questions do you got for me? I guess you're up next. Oh, well, shoot. I mean, the internet, or the internet, the email said only one question, so <laughs> I only she, came she follows with her instructions. Um, no, you're fine. Uh, yeah, I just had one. Luke, <laughs> any, do you guys have anything else before we go? We'll, we'll wrap up now. Any, any other thing you want to? Um, do you have any tattoos? I do, but it's a Bible verse, so I have to get Ooh, a okay. one, right? Come on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is it on the wrist? Is it on the wrist? No, that's way too basic white girl for me. Okay. There's limits to it. Got it. <laughs> you know. Well, this has been fun. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys for coming on. Um, we're we're going to get to the next one, but uh, yeah, I think we just have one more. But uh, this, no, really, you guys were great. And is it okay if I connect you guys after this? 
Absolutely. Sure. Yeah, cool. Great. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll stay in touch. Uh, thank you guys again for coming on Correct Opinions. Maybe, who knows? Who knows what will happen? But uh, we'll, I'll talk to you all soon, okay? Thank you. Awesome. Thank Have you. a good night, y'all. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. See you later, Dom. The Wolfman. Love that. <laughs> okay, we have one more, one more couple to get to before uh, we wrap up this uh, this first edition of Love making, I mean matchmaking on Correct I didn't have that plugged in. I'm not, I'm not a, I need to work on my professionalness, professionalism. So last one we're going to get to now, and uh, this has been fun. I think we're finding some pairs here. I don't know. I, I, I didn't love when I when I asked, is okay if I pair you? And she goes, sure. So, I don't know. I hope, though. I hope. Weirder things can happen. I met my wife through a DM, which is really dumb. So, who knows? Okay, last one. Here we go. Hey, this is Morgan. Morgan, this is Trey Kennedy. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Oh, we are here on Correct Opinions. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming on. How are you? I'm having a, so excited. Excellent. So you're you are ready to find love, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Something like that. Something. Okay. Uh, <laughs> is anyone going to take this seriously? Okay. No, we do take this seriously. We we vetted the thousands of submissions. Kind of. I didn't read all of them, but we found a I think a quality guy here. Um. So, yeah. What's your day in life like? You on the apps? You you're in quarantine? <laughs> you can't meet anyone? What what's what's been going on? Yeah, so I've been single for a year, um, but I've been on dates since then. Um, but yeah, I dated it. Wait, actually, first off, am I being recorded right now? Yeah, the, we're on the podcast, yep. So I guess oh gosh, only okay. say what you want to be out there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so... Um, you, you don't, like, you are single, right? You're like, I have a boyfriend, but he doesn't need... I just hope he doesn't listen. You're single. No, no, of no. Course. I'm kidding. I'm single kidding. for sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. What, what were you going to say? Or you're not going to say it? Um, I've seen a couple guys um, during quarantine, but it's just been pretty awkward because you can't go out and meet people normally at like a bar or something. Right. So. Right. I hear you. Okay. Well, we're here to help. All right. So uh, I've got a good guy waiting. I'm going to, I'm going to give him a call. Do you mind holding for a quick moment? Absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Morgan. We'll be right back. This is, I love it. All right, let's call good old, who we got, Michael. The good old American name. This is Michael. Michael, this is Trey Kennedy. How you doing, brother? I'm doing good, man. How are you? I'm good. You're single, huh? I am single. Single, okay. You, uh, how you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. Doing good. You sound cool, calm, and collected, man. We're, we've got a nice lady on the line. You, you ready to maybe find love, meet your wife? Who knows? I guess we'll we'll find out. <laughs> okay, I love it. All right, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna merge us here. Okay. Michael and Morgan. That has a nice ring to it. Y'all there? <laughs> I'm here. Oh no, Michael. Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> oh no, my Michael, are you even paying attention? Oh my goodness. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. What's um? Thank you guys again for coming on the show. Uh, so we'll just start out with like you know, we went a little bit about about uh, both of you, ladies first. Morgan, tell us you know maybe your age, where you're from, what do you do, etc. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I am living in Indianapolis, Indiana. I uh, do business development and marketing for an engineering firm that designs buildings. So we do mechanical, electrical, plumbing, super fun stuff. Um, Boring. For healthcare, higher education, corporate offices, and hospitality projects. Um, I went to Purdue. I'm 28. Um, Boilermaker. Yeah, boiler up. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> But it sounds I don't cool. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's great. Michael, what, tell us about yourself. Okay, right on. Uh, I live in Austin, Texas, but I'm actually from Indiana. Uh, so that's cool. Grew up in Carmel. Uh, my mom and sister both went to Purdue. 
So, um, uh, but I currently work in construction management um, in the uh, multifamily residential side. Wow. <laughs> so you 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 guys both build buildings, basically. Yeah, kind of, like kind of. So maybe, maybe you guys could build a home. Who knows? All right. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna ask you guys a little question each. You kind of get more loose, and I we asked you guys to prepare a, a question for each other, and we'll just kind of keep it going. So um, Michael asked you first. I don't know. Are you familiar with the love languages, the Enneagram, any of those? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, are you Morgan? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's just do it. what Michael. What's your well, Morgan, what's your love language? In Do order, I guess, to go. So, number one is touch. Number two is quality oh time. Those are probably my top two, right? And then, extra service. And then, affirming words. And then, gifts. Okay, I'll let you get me. Your number one is touch, and they where we're not allowed to touch anyone in the whole world. So no wonder you were desperate enough to come on the podcast. Right. Thank you, Michael. What about you? Love language? Enneagram? Anything? Uh, love languages top two would be uh, probably acts of service and quality time. Uh, Enneagram. I'm definitely a hardcore one. Hmm. A good old one. Perfectionist. So maybe, yes, uh, uh, okay. So maybe you're a little picky. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've been bit. there. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 Morgan knows what I'm saying. More, uh, okay. Morgan, what, what's your dating life looks like? You spend a lot of time in the apps. What's your experience with the apps? Love them, hate them. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of them to be honest, but, um, I use them. So you recently, thought this would be a good idea? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll, go, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> sorry. Thinking, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's great. So, okay. Do, do you do you guys have any pet peeves, Michael? Any pet peeves? Uh, biggest one probably be unaware people. Hmm. What did you say? I'm sorry. Said uh, unaware people. Oh, you know, unaware. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super annoying. Oh, Morgan agrees. Morgan, do you have a, do you have a pet peeve? There you go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm sure I do. I guess just um, people that aren't curious. Other people. I don't hmm. know. Okay, that's that's a great answer. Okay, you guys. We we again we asked to have a question ready. So, uh, Michael, why don't you start us off? Shoot Morgan a question. I'm yeah, flying the wall. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, Morgan, my question is, what's your favorite thing about yourself? That's a great question. Um, I guess I would say that I, my favorite thing is that I am an honest person. I think that's a good quality to have. Yeah, it definitely you? is. Um, I would say, um, I'm very purposeful in everything I do pretty much. I try to do everything with a purpose behind it. I don't, I just don't like to do things just to do them. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. Morgan, do you have a question for Luke? Yeah, I had a couple. Um, yeah, of course. <laughs> first one I wanted to ask you was, so how long have you been following Trey? Oh so, no! What, um, does, what does he even follow me, Michael? <laughs> you don't follow me. <laughs> uh, so I got to be honest. My friends are the ones that entered me into this. Oh really? Um, so I can't say I've been following Trey super long. This is humiliating. Be honest, I actually, Thirty minutes. I well, he's got have, he got my number before he even followed me. Ever heard of me? I don't even have social media. Actually. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, he's off the grid. Oh, your friends entered you. Yeah, okay. I'm a ghost. Okay, well, um, <laughs> this I was just trying to Sorry, set people man. up, and yeah, now I'm losing my confidence. It's fine. It's all good. No, uh, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I've no. seen a bunch of your stuff now, though. So. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's, it's really probably, fine. I, I just discovered him four months ago, so I'm his biggest four-month fan you'll ever meet, probably. Okay. Hey, um, that's great. Thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, he's hilarious. 
And I found out about him through a guy on the bundle. <laughs> So, okay, so the dating maybe things maybe are maybe I'm onto something here. Maybe. Well, shout out to that guy on Bumble. Um, right. Okay, keep, keep going, Morgan. Sorry. Um. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you that, and then I guess another question that's fun is if you could switch sides with anybody in the world, who would it be and why? Mm. That's a good question. Not Trey. I don't even follow that loser. <laughs> That's what you got, man. Um, I would probably choose. Let's see, and yeah, maybe like uh, Zion Williamson. Mm. If you know he's got a bright Zion future. That is. He's got a bright future. I like yeah. that. Okay, so you want to? Yeah, you want to? You want to have a good opportunity, but you don't. You still want to earn it. He's a he's a young he's a rookie in the NBA. For okay. in this case, yeah. you know, Morgan, Morgan, was, Morgan is like, okay, not a good answer. Um, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I was yeah. my answer would be Contact. anyone who is there anyone in the world who doesn't have to quarantine right now? I don't know. Anyone with a lake house? <laughs> I'd love to be there. So, no, this is fun, y'all. I appreciate. Yeah, that's great. Anything? Any final thought? You guys have any more questions you had, or any final thoughts? That's great, guys. No, it's great. We're going to give you guys... Is it okay if I connect you guys? Shoot you a message or email or something? Great. Um, Morgan, Michael, thanks again. Um, we've interviewed quite a few couples. Um, so this has been really fun. First ever matchmaking on Correct Opinions. And uh, we'll, we'll, I'll talk to you guys soon. We'll try to get maybe get an update on what, what's happened. But uh, thanks again. Michael, thanks for the, the recent follow, man. And we'll <laughs> talk to you guys soon. <laughs> Have a good night, y'all. We appreciate it. You guys are great. Bye. Bye. That's so funny. That finally someone gets asked, so how long have you been a fan of Trey? Uh, I don't even, I don't know who this guy is. Um, that's a wrap. We, we had five couples set up. That was a lot of fun. And so, yeah, we're going to connect these people. Hopefully the men step up and, you know, that's what men do, right? You send the first DM or I don't know, Bumble, you, the girl sends the first, I don't know. Hopefully they connect and talk and we're gonna try to get updates and see uh, what went right, what went wrong on next week. Um, now, is it possible that none of these people, you know, these people come on here like that was weird, Trey's weird, that person was weird and none of them ever talked to me again. Yeah, that's possible. I, uh, I have no control over that, but I, I don't know. I feel maybe I feel good about a few of those. I feel like some sparks were flying. I'm like Chris Harris. If Chris Harrison was less professional and a little had a little more inflection to his voice. So we're doing things over here and one more time, y'all that's it for the first ever edition. And I think we want to do this again. I feel like this could be a big success. And the first ever edition of matchmaking on correct opinions, um, we're, we're going to keep it updated. It's fun. So thanks again, y'all. That, that was a lot of fun. Love it. Okay. Um, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Something a little different to keep us enter entertained. Uh, please let me know what you thought of it. If, if you were like, if you love that, if you want to do more creative stuff like that to get you guys involved, I actually had a blast talking to uh, those 10 people. Well, one of them was my roommate, my roommate those nine strangers. Uh, They're all really great and nice. And that was fun and nice of them to take time out of their day. So thank, thank you to them. Thank you to all you guys who submitted and uh yeah f please give us a five-star review on the apple store if you can that helps us a lot and uh if you ever want to watch a video version of this it's on my youtube just search Trey Kennedy on youtube and we uh we're living it up man let's find some love let's not make it let's find it though that's it on this week's correct opinions we'll be back next week uh really appreciate you guys uh really really do and uh much love this would have my tour would have ended just a f couple of days ago very sad we we couldn't do that but uh we should know soon the postponement details that's just kind of a, an ordeal for all my agents to deal with so we're working on it i just want to say thank you to all of you guys who sent me really nice messages of like can't well can't wait to see you eventually i, I say the same to you do less god bless y'all thank y'all for listening i'll see you next week peace Correct opinion.